know this area gets really cold in the winter. Do you know when when you guys start farming, like in the spring? Uh, sorry. Jim. When do you guys start farming in the spring? Like around what time? What kind of season? Like April or March? Oh well, uh, during the winter we we right now we're doing some of the outside work. We'll start planting almost any time now. Okay. Some of the early crops like lettuce and uh, radishes and things like that can be planted. So we'll be planting them and we hope we had one greenhouse but we had a bad snowstorm and it knocked it down. So we're going to put it back up and so that we could start plants in the greenhouse so that they would be ready earlier than they would be if you planted them outside. So that our goal is to have a small greenhouse where we could start plants that are tender like tomatoes and chili and some of those things and have them ready when they're we've been pretty fortunate and the local greenhouses are pretty good about donating some to us but we still would like to have and it would be a good opportunity for training and showing people how you grow things because we could do it all winter you know Okay, I have a question that's a little bit unrelated. Um, what's your favorite food? Huh? What's your favorite food? Fruit. Any kind of food? Oh, I don't know. Pears. Pears? <laughs> okay. We have a little pear that's very small, about that big. Oh, wow. But they're very sweet. People say they're small. I say, well, eat too. <laughs> but it's a very good, very beautiful little fruit. We went to a Keith Museum. They actually had a picture of a pears. Did you see that one? Yeah. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. So we have quite a variety of different, we try to grow different varieties to see which ones do best here. Uh -huh. And uh, each year we, so the trees are getting old, you know, and so we're replacing them with newer ones. And it'll be some years before they large enough to bear much fruit, but we get a little fruit from them. And we have a retired doctor in town who's a surgeon and he, he comes out and he'd be showing people how to prune. He likes to cut things. <laughs> so uh, he comes out and helps us a lot. We get a lot of help from local people, as I just said earlier, from people all around the world that have come and helped us. Scotland, Germany, Ethiopia, India, some of the South American countries. I don't remember. I think it was Brazil that we had a, some help come from Brazil. Uh, we've had quite a lot of different places. That's really cool. Anything else you want to ask? No. Not on top of my head. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much.